Well, hello everyone, my name is Delos, and I just want to say how excited I am to be with you here today and spend the next few moments with you on this video. Now, what makes this time so special for me, you might ask? Well, I'm here to talk about this, a subject that I'm extremely passionate about and I know makes a huge difference in everyone's life and in their business life at the same time. Of course, that subject I'm talking about is leadership. Let me ask you this, what would it be worth to you to learn from other leaders' mistakes? If you could gain that insight and that strategy from other leaders' years of trial and errors, would you be interested in it? Why, of course you would, wouldn't you? But this is a huge subject, and I'm basing all my comments today on John Maxwell's book entitled Leadership Gold. And so I just want to talk about some of the lessons in this book that we can learn together and then increase in our leadership ability right away. I'm sure at one time or another, like myself, we've all experienced a failure when leading you know, ourselves or others, isn't that right? I don't know about you, but when I sat in that heap after making that colossal blunder in my leadership, I wish somebody would have warned me about this. You see, the stakes are really high in leading others today. There's more completion, slimmer margins, the pressure to perform increasing more and more and never decreasing in today's market. How would you like to learn some advantages in helping your team and yourself become more successful? Well, I'm thinking you would, isn't that right? But before we get into today's uh, subject or tutorial, let's start talking about leadership. And I want you to think about acting, A-C-T-ing, on what you're going to learn. Of course, the A stands for act. We need to take action. The C stands for change. You know, make those changes and adjustments that you know you, know you need to make. And T is extremely important, and the T stands for teaching others. See, I want to challenge you to, to apply right now what we're going to learn in episode two, how to lead yourself. Of course, this is the second episode out of all of our eight episodes on leadership goal. It's been said, a wise person learns from their mistakes. A wiser person learns from others' mistakes. But the wisest person of all are those who learn from others' successes. The author of this book has been a friend of mine and a mentor since 2016. John Maxwell is his name, and he's mentored thousands of individuals and hundreds of companies and countries over his leadership career. He believes and has proven in his work that leadership makes a difference, a huge difference. Of course, leadership requires a lot from a person. Make no mistake, it is demanding and complex. I don't want you to be like Charlie Brown when we finish this, who admired his sandcastle that he created on the beach only to see it get leveled by a huge downpour. Of course, as he looked at the smooth place where his artwork had once stood, he said, there must be a lesson here, but I don't know what it is. Will you continue to join me today so we can start mining some, for some gold out of this book? But however, before we start, I'd like to share my goal with you today. And my goal is this, is to give you some of the most valuable information on leadership so that you can grow forward personally and in business. Well, I have some questions for you. Number one, how do you lead the toughest person in the room? Well, what I'd like you to do is find somebody you work with and then ask them this question, how do you lead the toughest person in the room? Of course, I want to throw another question at you. That question is this, Who's the toughest person in the room to lead? Well, obviously the answers are going to be, you're the toughest person in the room to lead, all right? Friends, I have to be honest with you, the person I have the most difficult time leading is myself. I found out this is a full-time job, and a lot of times it's an overtime job, if you know what I mean. I have to motivate myself, I have to discipline myself, I have to protect my integrity. I mean, the list is endless. Well, why is it this way? Well, John says there's two reasons. Number one, we don't see ourselves as we see others. And number two, we're harder on others than we are on ourselves. You see, human nature has equipped us with the ability to size up everyone in the world except ourselves. <laughs> it is remarkable how most people lack awareness. Of course, just work recently I was working with a client and he instructed me, you know, to work with his employees and evaluate them. And after we worked together, he asked for a detailed evaluation of each person. Of course, we sat down together reviewing the reports and he said to me, 
these eight people need more help. As you assess them, they lack a realistic perspective on who they are. They lack the basic awareness. Send me a proposal to provide individual coaching. See if we can help them advance in their awareness. And I said, no problem. We definitely can do that for you. And we did. As John says, we tend to judge others according to their actions. Of course, it's very cut and dry, isn't it? However, when we judge ourselves by our own intentions, of course, myself, whenever I blow it, I let myself off the hook because my motives were good. So how do we lead ourselves? Of course, that's a great question. Allow me to give you a few takeaways, all right? Number one, self-discipline. It's said, you know, that one day Frederick the Great of Persia was walking on the outskirts of Berlin when he encountered a very old man walking ramrod straight in the opposite direction. Who are you, Frederick asked the subject. The man replied, I'm a king. Frederick laughed, goes, a king? Over what kingdom do you reign? He goes, over myself. <laughs> of course, discipline is simply giving ourselves a command and following it through. Of course, self-discipline is the highest form of leadership. You're the captain of your own ship. You're the master of your own soul. Leading yourself is a challenge, and one of the places where your character shows up is how you lead yourself. Of course, honestly, friends, there are days when, I, to be honest with you, I just want to take the day off and, you know, stop trying to keep myself under control. Of course, the problem with this is it's not very wise, which leads me to the second action you could take to lead yourself well. Number two, seek accountability. I've heard John say, people who lead themselves well know a secret. They can't trust themselves, all right? It's when you think you're untouchable that you learn how quickly you can be touched by poor choices. Of course, as I was developing as a leader in my organization, there'd be letters sent out, you know, by my superiors informing me that every and everyone else that another one of the men and the women we worked with had to be removed due to their failed ability to lead themselves well. And as a result, this hurt themselves and those who they were leading. I have a question for you. Do you have an accountability partner or peer group? I know for myself, just being aware of upcoming sessions with my group allowed me to avoid acting upon poor decisions. At each session we had together, we had a list of agreed upon questions which we gave others permission to talk about because we knew ourselves. The last question was, <laughs> did you lie about any of the previous questions? Of course, Thomas Watson said, it's so aptly, nothing so conclusively proves a man's ability to lead others as what he does from day to day to lead himself. Well, our time's almost over. For those of you that want to find out more, here's a couple ways that you could do that. Of course, change starts with awareness and to increase your awareness, you're going to need to be intentional with your growth. To stay in a growth environment, I offer many varieties of programs and opportunities. One of those opportunities is a mastermind program for our groups, like once a week we either come together at your facility or online, or we have a meeting once a week, five to 12 weeks, based upon you know whatever John Maxwell curriculum you'd like to follow. And then for those who wanna dig in deeper and are interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me and with fast, fast track results, okay? or the fast track to success, I have coaching programs that are going to help you achieve results quickly. Of course, coaching one-on-one -on -one is an amazing means to success. It's much more intensive, so if you really want to get the results that you're looking for and you want to get them quickly, I guarantee you I have the perfect program for you. Everyone, it's been a pleasure to, you know, get to speak into your life today and share my leadership ideas with you. Please do not forget to ACT on what you've learned. Remember, A is apply, C is change, and T is to teach others. One last thing, I'm gonna need your help. I truly feel that this has helped you in any way. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so that you won't miss any of the other trainings or tutorials that we have. And for our Facebook friends, please share this message with others so that they can see it. 
I mean, who knows? You might be sharing it with somebody that really needs the help. I look forward to working with you again in the future. My name is Del Ellis and I'm passionate about changing lives. Thank you so very, very much.